welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're gonna go ahead and do yet another Urban Decay Game of Thrones eyeshadow palette look. I really thought that my last look was gonna be the last look, but I did a poll on my Instagram and my followers were in support of me doing another look and they wanted me to do a look using this particular shade right here. That's called the site. And so I have created the look using that as my focal point. And so if you guys wanna see how I created this look today, then just keep on watching. And guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Your support means everything to me. So I want you guys to stay up to date on all the future looks. By request from my Instagram followers, you guys have said you guys want to see another look. And when I asked if you guys would be interested in seeing a look using this green, you guys said, bomb. Yes. Please. That's what it looks like. So, I'm going to do that today. And I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do, but we'll figure it out. My skin is a little bit dry today so um, I went ahead and used the this is the Paula's Choice Moisture Renewal Drops and after you do your cleanse your tone your uh, exfoliant and then maybe a booster like an antioxidant serum whatever and then sunscreen you can actually apply this right afterwards and that's exactly what I did I love this stuff because it is so lightweight uh, the main ingredient that is in this guy is argon oil and so yeah so for those of you who do suffer like from dryness I have a tendency to get dry sometimes from like in this area because I have allergies and of course blowing your nose is gonna cause you to get uh, dry and crusty and no one likes the crust <laughs> um, and, and keep in mind too with the the oil you can actually use around the eyes as well and so you know I just um, I really like that stuff and I have been incorporating it into my skincare routine when I'm dry, so. Okay, so the first shade in the palette that I'm gonna go in with today is the shade Lannister Red. I'm gonna actually do this a little differently than I've done in my other three videos. So I'm gonna start with the darkest shade, darkest matte shade. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just work this into the crease. I've already done my base. I just put concealer on along with doing my brows off camera. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just work it in. And I'm gonna bring it out to the temple. I'm not too concerned with like it being too perfect at this point because I'm gonna be going in with a um, makeup wipe and removing anything that I have done that's gone too far. Now that I have managed to just use that color pretty much all over, I'm going to go ahead and soften it. I'm going to use the shade uh, House Lannister. It is this like very nice like um, peachy kind of shade and it is a matte. And I'm just going to go ahead and use it to buff out the edges of that shade I just applied. The reason why I'm kind of going a little high too is because um, I'm planning on doing a cut crease or maybe even a half cut crease. I haven't haven't decided yet for this look. So what happens is, is some of these matte shades tend to get hidden from everything and I don't really want it to be hidden. I just want it to really be glowy. So we'll see what I'm talking about once we get there. That's good enough. It's just really just to help soften that edge a little bit more so that way it's not so apparent. I don't want it so bold right away, you know. So now I'm going to use Nymeria to help me just define the crease because obviously it's looking a little crazy here. And so because this is a brown shade, it'll help deepen out that red brown shade. I am just going to focus it in the lower crease here. So as you can see, it's deepened out the crease a little bit more in comparison to this side over here. Now, even though this is a shimmer shade, this is Werewood Leaves, and it's like a plummy shade that I want to use in this eyeshadow look today, um, I'm still going to use it as a crease shade 
because I do want there to be like a nice purpley hue. So I'm going to just add it to the crease as well and just really blend it into those mattes and hope that it achieves what I'm trying to do. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And with makeup, you could just remove it. So I kind of like where we are as far as the, the crazy uh, gradient effect goes. So let's go ahead and cut the crease. I know it looks crazy when we first start this process. I promise you it'll all make sense once we're finished. For the cut crease today, I'm gonna go ahead and use the MAC Paint Pot in this Soft ochre or soft okra, I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. <laughs> I always had a hard time with that. I've heard other MAC makeup artists say soft ochre, and I've heard other makeup artists say soft okra, so I'll let, I'll let MAC decide on my pronunciation, and I will correct myself if I'm pronouncing it wrong. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut the crease out. I'm using a 242 brush by MAC to do that. I think that's how far I'm gonna go. And we'll do it to the other side now. I'm gonna go ahead and spray my brush using the same brush I've wiped it. I usually like to have like a rag or a tissue or a paper towel to, to do that. And I'm gonna go ahead and just spray my brush with Fix Plus. And now the fun. Let's go in with this shade called The Sight. And let's start packing her on and you know what I'm gonna start with my finger to apply first and then we'll really go in with the brush to help perfect it oh she is so pretty I'm not one for green but this is a really nice one now there is fall <clears throat> fallout, so just keep that in mind that if you are going to do your base first, meaning your foundation, then you do want to go in and put translucent loose powder down underneath your eyes so it catches that. I do like where we are with this. Now I want to go ahead just to give it that gradient effect where you go from like lightest, which this is not a very light shade, but go lightest to darkest. So, I was thinking about using Winter is Here. It is a shimmer shade, but it's like a nice chocolate brown. So I'm gonna kind of blend that using my finger into the green, as well as the outer corner. Let's see what that does. Okay, it's looking all right. I'm doing the same here. I'm also going to just use my brush here. I think the finger works really good with these uh, eyeshadows. Now do I dare, I'm thinking about it. Taking a little bit of this Frozen North. Oh God, I hope I'm not making a mistake. I'm just gonna add it here. Well, that's cute. Okay. Gives it a little bit more of a teal kind of hue. All right. Let's go ahead and clean up this edge. Sorry, it looks like we're gonna be experiencing some rain, so the lighting has definitely changed. Okay, so I went ahead and I just cleaned up the outer edge, and what I was thinking about doing was taking my Larinim, uh, this is like a loose pigment eye, sh eye color in this sh um, shade Scale of Dragon. I thought that would actually be really fun since this is Game of Thrones. So the way to use this, the best way to use this is with a glitter glue. So the glitter glue that I like to use is by Too Faced, which I'm looking for right now. And this is what it looks like. And I take a very small amount. And what I like about this one is it's like a concealer consistency. 
don't drag it onto your color. Just tap it on like that. And then taking that pigment, I'm gonna go ahead and just apply it. It may make this a little bit more green, but that's okay. Okay. So in compa comparison to this side, it's just a little bit more green and vibrant, which I don't mind that. Okay, so I'm gonna do the other side now. For primer today, I'm gonna be using the uh, Too Faced Cosmetics Hangover Replenishing Primer. I love this primer because of its consistency and the fact that it doesn't make me break out. So it is a lotiony consistency. I am on the dry side, but I even when I'm like kind of normal, slightly dry, slightly oily, I find that this is just enough where it's not uh, causing my skin to be too overly oily. So if you are, if your skin type is like mine, where you kind of sometimes will have problems and then other days you don't, then I would really consider checking this primer out. It's one of my favorites. All right. Now because my pores are a little bit apparent, I am gonna use the Smashbox Photo Finish uh, Pore Minimizing Primer. I just have this amount right now, but I do like this primer. I wanted to kind of start off with a smaller amount before I invested in their full size bottle. And I have been really liking it for my T-zone and to help fill in some of the areas that tend to give me texture or sh a little bit more porous. If you are oily, it's a great primer. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and work on my base and then I'll be right back. All right, let's go ahead and um, finish up the eyes. They're looking a little crazy right now, aren't they? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the House Lannister shade. And I'm gonna take a fluffy bl brush, and this is the ColourPop fluffy brush. This is a really nice brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and add it to the lower lash line first. This is really what's gonna help the other eyeshadows to really adhere to this area. So kind of like acting like a base color, like that. And I want to go ahead and take Lannister Red, and I'm going to go ahead and also add that to the lower lash line. Basically we're going to be mimicking what we did up, up on the top area, maybe not as intense, but I do want everything to kind of tie together. line using this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide Pencil in the shade Rockstar. So it's like a like a purpley plummy kind of shade so I want to go ahead and use that and it may not look like that front in the camera but um, I just want to warm this uh, pencil up but it will once I add Wayward Leaves. Where would? Where would leaves? Sorry. Wayward. this area but I need it's like gonna act like a base for the purple shade to adhere to and it's gonna make it pop even more okay so now going in with Weirwood leaves which is this nice beautiful plummy purpley shade there we go uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just go along very tightly on the lower lash line and really just help blend that liner in with the shadow. Uh, 
That's looking really, really good. Well, I had to change up my lighting situation because it is getting so dark that it's now too dark to see what I'm doing. So I'm going to go ahead and take all this bakage off. And what we're going to do is now add a setting spray, not a dewy spray, but a setting spray just to keep everything nice and making sure everything just stays put. This is the uh, Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. I really like this stuff. I had to change the lighting because the uh, outside right now looks like it's going to storm any minute. So anyways, we're doing some lighting now. I'm going to go ahead and apply the shade. Hmm, let's do Hard Home. This is always a good inner corner highlights, this shade right here. And I'm going to add it to this area to help brighten the eyes a bit. And then I'm going to go in with some mascara and lashes, and I'll be right back. For highlight today, I wanted to use the Amrezy Highlighter by Anastasia Beverly Hills. If you guys follow me, you guys know I love this highlighter so much. I hope there wasn't any powder in that. And the way I'm going to use it is I'm going to use a fan brush, and I'm going to go ahead and spray it with Fix Plus just to get it going. And I'm going to go ahead and just take a little bit of the... Emrazy highlighter and add it right there to my face. And it just gives it a nice glow. Okay, and I want to do this before I put my blush on just because I like the way that it looks. Um, like it all kind of blends together. I'm just gonna put highlighter everywhere. How about that? Why not? No, I haven't put my lashes on because I wanted to do this first. Get this going. Like that. And then for blush today, I am going to be using the MAC Cosmetics uh, Sheer Tone Shimmer Blush in Peach Twist. I really love this color. I used it last time and it was in, it's just a really nice, you know, it gives my skin a really nice glow. Oh my gosh, it looks like we're going to have a big storm any, any minute. And just, you know, I start from this area here and then bring the blush downward. And then without any pro extra product, I'll just blend it through. I'll add a little bit to the nose too. Since I'm looking so pale. For lashes today, I'm gonna go in with these guys right here. These are by Icona Lash. These are in this lash style fairy tale. I do have a code, Little Miss Skin Expert 10. It will help you save 10%. One of the reasons why I love these lashes is the band. So the band is very thin, but like it's not um like it doesn't give me irritation on the eye lash band. You know how some lashes bands can be a little too thick. It's really hard for my eyes because I have such sensitivity in the eye area and I eventually just have to take off the lash. But these guys were the ones I used uh, in my wedding, and I, the, the companies, and uh, I was really happy when I found out, when I discovered them. This is with the lash band on. This is with no lashes at all. So you could just tell it's, this one's a nice, uh, like wearable during the day kind of lash. I mean, if you guys like dramatic, then that's another story, but I like both but I do love their lashes and just how easy they are to apply. Well guys, here's the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It's a little sad for me because it is the last Game of Thrones eyeshadow look that I will be doing and the season is coming to its conclusion. Will it be Daenerys or will it be Jon? What do you guys think? Sound off below. 
Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya! Thank you.